Hi, and welcome to the section 2. Your website is always exposed to the external world, so it's very attractive target for an attacker and is under a constant danger. That's why you need special care to protect it. And that's exactly what we are doing in this section. Here is how we build our work. First, I demonstrate some dangerous attacks. I've already showed some of the attacks in my previous course, Cybersecurity Attack Red Team Activity. So in this course, I'll continue with some new ones here. Then we'll learn how to protect against these attacks and then unite the gained knowledge in the single strategy. We begin with brute forcing website passwords with a WASP zap. Actually, what is brute forcing? A brute force attack is a trial and error method used to obtain information such as a user password or personal identification number. In a brute force attack, automated software is used to generate a large number of consecutive guesses as to the value of the desired data. Brute force attacks may be used by criminals to crack encrypted data or by security analysts to test an organization network security. That's a very sharp definition. But if you say simply, the brute force attack is when the attacker computer constantly hammers the victim computer until he gets inside. In this video, we try to crack a password by brute forcing attack. For that purpose, I will use OWASP ZAP vulnerability scanner as the attacker's tool and damned vulnerability web application as the target. For this demo, I use two virtual machines. The first one is Kali Linux in the attacker machine and the second one is Metasploitable 2, where the damned vulnerable web application is located. So let's run our OWASP ZAP. As you remember, we can find it here, application, web application analysis and OWASP ZAP. So we've got it running. And and what we do next is to set it as a proxy in our browser. So let's run our Firefox. And here in the browser you must check if it has this setting. Use proxy localhost and uh, port 8080 for all URLs. As you can see, uh, I use for that purpose Foxy Proxy Basic. It's very convenient, so you can download and uh, use it too. Now it's OK to find our DVVA application. Here is uh, the second virtual machine, Metasploitable 2. And if we type ifconfig config command, we'll find out the IP of this machine. Here it is. 192.168.66.130. Of course, you should use your IP address. Now let's come back to our Kali Linux and go to this IP address. Of course, the IP address of your Metasploitable 2 machine. Here we can find DVVA. And first of all, let's come in. The username is admin and the password is password. Now we are inside, and when we are inside, we should do a couple of things. First of all, we go to brute force option. It's created specially to demonstrate such kind of attacks. Also, we can go to DVVA security and change the level of security from high to low. This way our attack will be much faster. Let's come back to brute force option. And let's pretend we don't know the real username and password. And we just uh, try to brute force this site. So we can suppose username admin exists because uh, on most sites 
we can find it. So let's type admin. And for the password, we type absolutely anything. We pretend we don't know the password. So we type, for example, anything. I type anything as the password. Yeah, great. I click login. And of course, we got a message, a username and or password incorrect. That's exactly what we need for this attack. Now let's go to our OVASP zap. We can see here the IP address of our target and it's DVA. Let's open it. Let's find vulnerabilities folder. Go there. And here you can see the file get brute login password username. Let's right click on it. In the menu choose attack and in the next menu choose fuzz. Here we've got the request I have sent trying to login the site. As you can see here is the username admin and password then I try to and the password anything. Let's highlight it. When we do that, this button becomes active, click on it, then click add again. And in this menu, we choose file, then click select. Actually, what are we doing now? We are going to brute force the password for the website. And for that purpose, we need some set of passwords that called dictionary. Kali Linux has its own lists of passwords for training purpose. So for today's demonstration, we will choose one of them. For that purpose, let's go to the slash directory, then choose user and then share. And here in the share directory, we can find world list directory. You can see there are some world lists here. I choose fast track for today's demonstration. Click open. And here you can see all the words in the dictionary that will be used for trying to break into the site. So click add, click OK. And now we can start our attack. For that purpose, let's click start further. And the attack is running. And now we've got some results. As you can see here, on the right side, you can find all the passwords that uh, tried to fuzz. Okay, now we've got the results of our scanning. On the right side, you can see the passwords that uh, WhatsApp tried to use to fuzz the website. But how we can find out what password is correct. Do we have a positive result? For that purpose, let's have a look at this size response body. As you can see here, it's the same number of bytes here. But if you scroll down through every of them, we can find that some of them is different. It has different size. Let's click on it. And let's see at the result here. Look at this string. That means welcome to the password protected area admin. That means we have found the correct password. Of course, if you try it on a real world site, and by the way, you should do it only if you have written permission of the owner of the site for penetration testing. Because what we do here, is imitating a real life attack. So be careful and never try it uh, without permission. But when you try it on a real website, you of course won't find such welcome there. But all you need to do is just look at this password and try to log in to the website. Let's try to do that. So we are here, 
we pass admin and here we use the password we get from our brute force and attack it's password as you remember and as you can see here welcome to the password protected area admin now we are inside the website so as you have just seen passwords of the website can be easily broken by automated brute force attack and to protect yourself from such kind of attack you need a password that is really bulletproof for such kinds of attacks how to create it we'll talk about in the next video